is up my people welcome back to the channel i'm your boy nasim the dream happy sunday we are back for another singles of the week and we got a bundle of singles that i want to talk to you guys about let's get right into it we're gonna begin with this new architect song and it's called be very afraid uh so okay so on here they play with a lot of noise elements on this that i think overall isn't so bad it's actually kind of a nice addition to the track other than that this track doesn't really offer anything really new it doesn't really do anything for me personally um, it has hard-hitting metalcore sounds on here and a couple growls that can really catch you off guard. But yeah, overall, it's just an average track to me. Next up, this is brand new Kylo Kiss feature with the song Incredible World. A bit of a reminder and a callback of sorts to Queen's You're My Best Friend. That's at least where I'm really getting this from. I'm not really sure if there's like an actual direct connection. Just sound influence wise, that's what I'm really, really hearing from this one. But yeah, uh, it's a Pretty good track, uh, decent melodies, overall solid mix. As a pop track, this has everything you could really want out of it, and a bit extra, so yeah, I'm into it. Next up is this brand new King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard track. This one is called Hate Dancing. This is another reminder of like some like 70s pop rock with me, uh, with the way the drums hit alone and all the roads on here. Um, it's super groovy, super hippie, pretty hilarious as well as how it comes off with like this kind of story of this guy who hates dancing. But then later on, eventually wants to dance. Like, I don't know. It, it's goofy, it, but it's groovy. It's a green light. Then we got this new track from a rapper I'm just hearing about. Nasaj Thing also taking up a rapper Pink Sifu on the track. The track is called Look Both Ways. This track is creepy as hell. Crazy good horror influences on here. Starts up super uncomforting. Continuing to demonstrate more eerie sound selections that just become really distressful. And I also really like how these these rappers are like kind of in character they sound like they're filled with gloom and darkness and yeah. overall just applying to the theme on here like with a bit of heroism displayed that's fantastic overall i really love what these guys do on here like i said it's a suspenseful track and overall great sound and then we got some new little uzi vert out this week this song is called just swano rock okay so i gotta say uzi doesn't really do much on here uh like he feels like he's barely on the song as he actually is but the synths are fun as hell on here like that first chord progression already makes me feel the excitement building up on here especially when imagining this in a live setting i can definitely see this getting a lot of excitement for sure um it would have been really cool if they went a little bit farther into the creative thought on here um because i like the idea the ideas are here for sure it's just not executed to the fullest potential i feel like but cool idea i'm not in love with it but it's still decent next is this brand new house banger from joel Corey and singer tom grannon and light heart and fearless um it's pretty much uh, a bit more of a generic side house pop track it kind of sounds like something that they'd already use for like like a promotion for the world cup game or something like that um but honestly it's fun like it can get the club going off of their off their feet for sure I, like realistically it is a generic house track it's just okay but like i said i'm not gonna be too overly critical for no reason i still found a way and i definitely can find a way to get bump into this track so overall it's okay all right so now we got a full record out from the one and only carly ray jepson i'm going to be talking about the track surrender my heart which by the way is the intro track to the album um it's crazy that this is just already the a really really dope dance pop track to get started with it's a static it's just a great startup track uh, to the lp it's got great synths lfo's on there uh punchy drums noise fluctuations it's a goodie. I like it. And then we got abstract rapper Boldy James out with the track. It is called Drop in an Album. Uh, great piano selections on here. I really love the way that they really fall in line on here. Just really sound very, very smooth like. Um, the highs are really coming up very beautifully on here as well. I really like the beat transitions also um, with this whole different sample later on. It's really, really rich. Really great selection on here. Boldy sounds excellent uh, front to back. Yeah, overall this track is pretty much flawless i really like it a lot then next up we got genesis owusu with the track get inspired a little synth pop hip-hop fusion bringing us back a little bit with some 80s aesthetics um i'm really really fucking with this it is definitely getting somewhere really really up there with the ideas on the head like it's really really popping off i'm having a lot of fun with this one great transitions as well um simple writing techniques but that work flawlessly like this is just a great song and getting the flames all right, then next we got a brand new Elenium track with singer Max. This song is called Worst Day. All right, so I feel like this is a bit of a knockoff of John Billion's uh, Good Things Fall Apart. Like, I, I, that's what I really feel like, especially when it comes to 
hitting on the chorus, the way the verses are structured, the way this whole thing all hits, and kind of the way Max's vocals are also sinking in within this melody. Um, sure, I really feel like in this sequence with the melody part, um, they just really wanted to like barely tweak the writing to make it feel kind of unique, and I honestly think that's just a bit lazy, and it's not really enough to make a brand new unique pop um, future bass song. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I really don't think there's enough, uh, qualities on here to really make this unique enough. Cause I just keep thinking that this is kind of a knockoff. It's fun. It can be, but I don't know. I don't, I, this is one where I don't see it really growing on me. So yeah, I'm honestly not really digging this one. Lack of originality. No go. Next up is this brand new collab with Latin pop artist Shakira and Osuna on the track Monotonia. Uh, to me, it's just one of those could be better, could be worse kind of things. Um, not much of a memorable moment on here. Uh, I think it's got some bass value to it that you can kind of deal with, kind of be okay with hearing in the club or in the car with your homies. But uh, I don't really think this is great. It just feels very flat for the most part. I, I, I'm not a fan. All right, then we got pop singer Caroline Polachek on the track Sunset. Throwing in some Latin inspirations at us with some salsa acoustics. Sound very lovely. Very, very well mixed. Very great sound selection. She's even throwing in some vocal styles that fall in sync with it that match very, very well with the tone. Um, and yeah, she just sounds great on this. This is a very, very fun track. I love that she's trying out more new things. And also, it works for her. It's the flame. All right, next, we got some more dance music out from producer Fred again with the track Delilah pulling me out of this. Uh, love it. Grooves are outstanding. It displays a euphoric feel to it that especially is very noticeable at the midpoint with the ambient break uh, moment on there. But yeah, it's solid. The pads are solid. The drums are really good. Sampling is really good. Mix and master is superb. Delightful. Magnificent. Yeah, overall, I love the song. It's great. And then we got rapper Smino out with some new tunes with us this week. Mantini is the title. Okay, so it's got bars. Instrumentals are overall okay. And I feel like the track isn't terrible. It just doesn't really last with me at all i really don't find anything on here that actually really keeps my attention uh with every sound and every transition into these sequences um but I, I, i'm not gonna say it's that bad like there was a moment with the background chants that are a lot of fun on the outro and like the aggression with the 808s kind of randomly coming in um can kind of spark back that attention getter but i feel like it's just too little too late and i don't know i just feel like this track is just about average and then we got a boogie with the hoodie with r&b rapper tory lanes on take shots boring honestly there is nothing in the song that i care for or are interested about to really break down deeply because it's not that deep and then we got the return of baby metal super excited about this one it's called divine attack shigeki uh, really love the songwriting. The singing sounds great on this. Pretty kick-ass metal rock instrumentation as well as some epic horns riding us outside of the track. Um, the mixing is the biggest fault of this. It does need a lot of work, I feel like. It needs, needs readjustments because I feel like it's holding back a lot of power behind this track. Um, without that, I'd say there's really not that much of a problem. Like I said, everything else is pretty much fine. But it really does hold a lot back. Um, it, it's just okay. Then we got a new track from rap group Pivot Gang. This one is called Ang. It's a pretty smooth track. Yep, it's, it's that simple. Nice warm tones to the instrumental. These guys are on point flow-wise especially. Very, very captivating. The switches between rappers are absolutely seamless and satisfying at the same time. This is a solid rap song. You should definitely check out this group if you are not familiar with them by now. Then we got this new collab I've actually never heard of with producer Knowledge and artist Anderson Pack. Uh, they're called uh, No Worries. And this one is called Where I Go, bringing on R&B singer Her. So great blues aesthetics on here and soul sounds as well. Vivid guitars, gorgeous harmonies, overall pretty solid track. Um, yeah, this is one I'm gonna have to keep up with because you can't you can't sleep on Anderson. The man is a musical genius. The man has been bumping with some great new ones lately, and yeah, I'm on board. Then here comes Flying Lotus with a new one as well. Constellation Prizes is the name. Very funky electronic fusion. Very enamored with the sound selection on here. Brings a lot of great trebles to the mix. Short and sweet, not too shabby overall. Yeah, it's nice. And then we got a new track from alt punk rock band Paris. This one is called Animal, and it's honestly. One of the worst ones I've heard from the band so far. It is a huge mess. Like the rhythm isn't even fun to tag along with. Mediocre songwriting and 
it's just not good. No, thank you. And then we got French Montana out with the track featuring Nav. This one is called Fenty. Okay, I'm going to be honest. It's, if you lower your expectations, if you're familiar with these artists, if you really lower your expectations, you'll probably be satisfied because that's kind of what happened with me. Like, I'm not hating the song, but realistically, there is nothing different on this presented between the two. Like, these these two make the same tracks all the time. And it's the same thing done on here. It's just... It's a big lack of song idea. Not a great song. Not a great. All right, and finishing off this week's singles of the week, we got Taylor Swift's "Antihero." So I don't want to say too much about this song on here because I highly recommend that you guys go check out my reaction video of this track. Honestly, it's one of the most fun moments I've had on a reaction. Um, I think it's probably one of the most entertaining videos I've ever made on this channel. Highly recommend that you go check that out. Even if you're not a Taylor Swift fan, honestly, just go check it out. See if you have fun with it. I think you will. And um, yeah. Um, I enjoyed the song overall. Really, really good. Very, very catchy. Sticking with me. Memorable. Um, yeah, I'm going to give it the green. I feel like green is a fair, fair rating. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm going with. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed, go to like, share, comment down below. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel. Down in the description, you see all the links for the tracks I talk about in this video. Make sure to check them out for yourselves. And let me know in the comment section what you thought about them. And I'm going to catch you in the next one.